Let's look at the new abilities from the Druids DLC, a new secret feature, Ubisoft edits, and also the new Ubisoft Connect challenges, including the 100 assassinations. How to complete it fast and way, way more in this video. If you like that, then a like on the video would, of course, really help me out. And let's go. A quick reminder for my new giveaway for 2,300 credits. So you can, for example, win the new Knight of the Roundtable pack. You can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter. And good luck. Let's start with some interesting Druids DLC info. We already went over that new settlement building, which we cannot access yet. Like the board next to it will take you to the store to buy the DLC when it's available on May 13th. Or if you got it installed, we will likely be able to upgrade the building. And something I did not touch on yet is that when you tune in, you actually see that the game notes that Asar will help us arrange passage to Ireland. And we see that the character that Fregnard, the German YouTuber, is voicing in the German version of the game is also mentioning Asar. So, as Azar says, you can bring pelts to me for a reward, like that's sort of the gist of it. So, Azar seems to be an important character during the DLC from the very beginning already. And in my previous video, we went to the Photomod website because we could already see some or all the locations in Ireland there. Meath, Connacht, Ulster and Dublin. But yeah, maybe you already guessed it. If we go to the Photomod website right now, these mentions are removed. But PDM did reach out on Twitter because they first, before removing these, renamed these weird River Raid placeholder names, except the ones for Season 2 River Raid. Implying that, yes indeed, we have two new rivers coming. Maybe also as part of the Druids DLC, or a little later. Recently they of course already added new skills and I went over them already but I did not touch on the fact that these videos are actually shot in the Druids DLC from the looks of it. And Deus Fault actually notes this in the comments under a recent video because yes we actually see some new enemies and I think a ring for two which we already of course saw briefly in the post launch trailer as concept art. So pretty cool, not much else to see, but I totally think this is from the DLC. Like we all see an enemy here with a great sword and a shield during the Cold Rage video. And Oween reached out on Twitter with another interesting find, because if you look closely in the ability menu, we now see three black spots indicating that we get three new abilities with the Wrath of the Druids DLC. And I also want to thank the person Dennis for noting this in our Discord. And then we actually go to Fregnard's latest video and a link to his channel of course in the video description. We see what the three new abilities are. So we got two new ranged abilities and one new melee ability and the melee ability is Viking Salute. Where you headbutt an enemy after which they are stunned for a short time. And also look at the fort there in the background. Looking very sweet and also different from what we've seen in the main game so far. The rank 2 version of the ability adds more hits to it. With an even more deadly headbutt. Killing the enemy instantly it seems. So it's pretty powerful. But not sure if you want to like sit through this animation all the time. One of the new ranged abilities has you summon an Irish Hound. Which will then be by your side and attack a nearby target it seems and the rank 2 version is actually wild like this hound is cleaning house taking down multiple enemies at once like this looks way more powerful than the man's best friends ability we of course have right now and I also love how these new enemies look with the tight helmet really really cool and the final new ability is a smoke arrow which will blind enemies it seems but your view as well like we see a little later that an enemy is kind of stunned by the effect, so not bad. But the rank 2 version looks like a way better version of the incendiary powder trap because you also have the smoke appear, but multiple enemies will now also catch fire. And I think this is one of the new ring forts as well. So yeah, I can't wait for this DLC. And what got me even more excited was the amount of new loot that will be in this expansion. Good Tao, and I hope I pronounced that right, shared this list on our Discord, which you can join, by the way, via the link in the pinned comments. So according to the vials of the DLC, we will be getting 7 new armor sets. So that's way more than I expected. And of course that Dublin Champion armor we already saw in recent screenshots. And that Origins inspired outfit I showed you in my previous video will be part of this DLC as well. But yeah, we have then 5 more, which is nuts. 4 mounts, and one of them is a Lynx. Okay, okay. 
And then we have some other cosmetics. And the Basim outfit is noted here too. But I would be shocked if it's behind the Druid's DLC paywall. I hope it's not. And you see the amount of new weapons in the DLC right here. Interesting is that we only get three sickles. While that's of course the new weapon type being added with this DLC. No new flails or Dane axes, which is a shame. But overall, this is way more loot than I expected for this expansion. We'll, of course, talk more about these armor sets and weapons and how you can get them around the launch of the DLC. Oh, and by the way, the Basim outfit and sickle sword footage was from Gamer Lil Games, and a link to his channel will be in the video description. Before we look at the Ubisoft Connect challenges, I want to mention one more thing that we found while playing and that Roger noted via the input at Raptor.com email address that you can, of course, use as well if you found cool things in Valhalla. There's namely a secret change because if you now inspect a piece of an armor set and got the full set, you can equip that full set immediately without having to select every piece individually. So that's a really nice quality of life feature. The new Ubisoft Connect challenges are live right now for 30 extra Opal. If we get the community challenge as well, 350,000 Orlog games will be hard though. Although if everyone watching does this three times, we can make it happen. So that's like 15 minutes of work. I will keep you posted if we completed it before next Thursday. The solo challenge for recruiting a Yams Viking is of course easy. Go to the docks in your settlement, recruit the character there, and you're already done. And I will touch on the assassination challenge in a moment. So let's first go over the weapon challenges, which are actually super easy. We namely got a new tactic from James, who emailed me to the input at Drafted.com email address, and Hawkeye Shen as well. So thanks for that. The location is over here on the map in Gloucestershire, near the fast travel point. Here you namely find a ton of snakes that all count for one kill. So you save before doing this tactic because we have to reload once and then equip the weapon that is needed for the challenge. So this week that is the light shield and also the heavy shield for another challenge. Put the game on the easy mode and then just go crazy. You will now nuke the snakes in one hit and there are 34 snakes in total. So then after killing them all, reload the save you just made and do another run to complete the challenge. And now we want to do the same for the heavy shield. And then you got the 10 extra opal for completing both the challenges. For the 100 assassinations, you want to go to the garrison near London. Because there are a ton of enemies close to each other here. You can already assassinate some enemies upon entering the area. Of course, you also want to save before you go in. Because we will have to reload a couple of times for the 100 kills that are necessary. But overall, the thing is that you want to use the Thorn of Slumber. It was nerfed, of course, but if you place it right, so on the grounds before the targets or when multiple enemies are close to each other, then you will be able to assassinate them really rapidly after each other. I use two daggers and actually play on the very hard difficulty here to get adrenaline back with those weapons. So you bring the enemy down to low health and then you get a ton of adrenaline and then you can use the Thorn of Slumber assassination again. You can of course also use the Feign Death, but that usually takes a longer time. This will not cost you an adrenaline though. But I found that using the daggers and Thorn of Slumber is way faster. So then with this tactic you can assassinate almost everyone in the camp. You can also do it on the easy difficulty but then the enemies will just die super fast from your daggers. So then you're basically wasting bodies you can't assassinate. Also pro tip is to use the guaranteed assassination feature in the gameplay settings. So then you will not have to do the quick time events. So you can more easily and also faster insta kill everyone. And when the enemies are dead or only the archers are left just reload the save you just made and redo the camp this is what we came up with but we're of course all here so if you got a better tactic drop it down in the comments down below or email me to the input at draptor.com email address subscribe of course for everything as a street valhalla a like on the video would really help me out and check out my previous video on the wolf mount you can get at Reddit right now and an in-depth look at the new armor set you can watch that video by clicking on the screen or I will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase. You can of course send in your shots to the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter. Or my dedicated pictures channel on the Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments. Once you are there, accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay Joyce, come in. You're of course here the photo mode expert on the channel. So I'm curious which one did you pick this time? What's up everyone? Let's start with Miss Linz over on Discord. Where Sudan is in the light of the moon showing off its wings. With the red almost bright color scheme it looks really intimidating but also really majestic well done 
I, I kind of get the, uh, the the first Pokemon episode where you see Ho-Ho. I kind of get that yeah. vibe. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> can't believe you just Pokemon in your Yeah! <laughs> Next up is Nick, also on Discord, who caught an intimate moment a between Eivor and a fish. Is that a carp? No, 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 I don't think so. But... <laughs> I wanted to stay in the Pokemon team, but go ahead. Magic carp. <laughs> it made me laugh, though. I mean, looking at how the fish is really going for it, opening it up its mouth and the strange look in the eye. Oh, oh. And finally, we've got the Eskrima wolf over on Twitter, where Eivor just took care of an enemy while walking away proudly. I love the setting here where the hand of the unfortunate person lies on the ground and trying to still get their attention, but eventually fell to its demise. Love it. Yeah, really, really awesome. And uh, I love the legs from, from Eivor here too. Really, really awesome, of course. Share your shots. Maybe you are in the next video. Subscribe, of course, for way more Valhalla content and check out our previous video by clicking on the screen. For now, we'll speak to you next time and goodbye. Goodbye.